apparently Pick up the I am going to be taking forever. Get back into the just the things. Yeah. See ya. Let's just see how this all goes before I end up stopping. I've been having fun with a sore throat, which isn't exactly great when it comes to doing this stuff, but oh well, I'm I'm trying. It's all that really matters at the time being. Okay, let's see. Wrong button. And money, money, money. I should be able to do that. Those are two things. So, pretty much I can do that. Mind over murder then. Okay. Actually, I want to know how loud my sound is going because I've been messing with it quite a bit. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Is an Okay. God, I'm so sick of having to pick up Jenna. That bitch. Yeah! It's urgent. <laughs> <laughs> we'll down at a Why does everybody choose to message me when I want to do this? Uh, I know why. No! Go back to your spot. Thank you. Welcome to Mind Over Murder! The rules are simple. <laughs> Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I'm sorry I skipped it. Okay. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought well, to you in part come by over here. everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinya! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of Helmus Galaxies to create an all new Genki and experience. Then As there. folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses then. in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, why are my subtitles not on? What the fuck? Audio. Subtitles. No. Gameplay. Why are the subtitles not showing? Tested has gained the power of telekinesis, but they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> Too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of a human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. 
Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and pitting them sure. against each other in a superpowered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they could team up against an army of mascots, flaming mascots, armed with rocket launchers, and RPGs. Jeez, that's a fine dream, Bobby, but... As you know, the world's biggest badass was locked away years ago. And that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. That's always a fun one. <laughs> Got break down. That actually is one of the things that I will do for the most part. Almost all of them. Just because it's actually a fun David is fucking seriously so fucking cool. I don't want to talk to Sid yet. Walk me through how Sid is going to help us free Matt. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. We need all the help we can get. How do we get him? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. This should be a fucking adventure. Too much for you? <laughs> Wait, how many of these do I even have? Wrong button! I can't even get anything. Okay. Ah, uh, so close. I just need one more. I'm pretty sure I can get one. As a matter of fact, I can. I can get two of them over here. Oh god, this song is playing in the background. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing. I can't believe knocking at my door. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha.
And now... Matt Miller, the self-proclaimed hacker god, ran all the cyber-terrorism for the Syndicate back in Steelport. No, he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Oh, my Kiki's in my room now. This again? You can give me a gun any time, Kinsey. Well, you don't have superpowers either. Jesus Christ, Kinsey. Why the fuck are there words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. This brings back memories. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. You just have to deal with it. Fucking 80s. Just throwing this out there, but uh, I don't want to be staring at the ground for the rest of my life. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Always happy to show off. Kinsey. Oops. Sorry. Finger slipped. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Finally, I get to just blow shit up. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> three times, Zinyak. Try to keep up. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. We'll see about that. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. I found the button I was looking for. Good girls kick ass. That's a lot of firepower. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. That's two. One more to go. Now you're still kind of on my virtual shit list, Kinsey. For what? Last time we were in cyberspace, you turned me into a sex doll. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. You gave me access to the webcam you set up in Viola's room. It's not an apology, that's creepy. <laughs> Last tower, then we grab Matt. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround.
Back me up, Kinsey. Wait, let me try something. And you do. And now we get on my bike. Oh, how I missed you so. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zid, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying. Thanks for sharing your high school poetry. It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't go, you uncultured swine. Oh shit. I forgot that I had tanks shooting at me. Well, that I had some stuff shooting at me in general. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. This is not fun. Oh, nope. You're coming up on Matt's prison. How am I gonna start a prison break without a gun? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Wing it? Great. What can go wrong? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Fuck me running. <laughs> There's TV being loud in the background. Thanks. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Okay, will whatever. Borrow time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This Fuck is the you. moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What am I looking at? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple... I'm sorry, but I would rather rescue him. It was total bullshit that you could only carry 200 pounds of bison meat. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Matt, stay calm. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Behold my empire. Wow. Empty space and a purple star. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. Why? What is it? Terror. 
as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? <sighs> Is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Yes. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. I can deal with anything you throw at me, buddy. Jesus Christ, Zinyak, are you 13? <laughs> All right, pick up the phone and dial yourself out, Matt. <laughs> ah, punch, punch. And done. Uh, my cat is just staring. Oh, I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey, come yeah. on! Can't I get some payback? Lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. Poor Matt. <laughs> Poor, poor, poor man. I keep pressing the wrong fucking button every single time. Camp David was a wild time, wasn't it? I can only imagine what we would have gotten up to if we didn't have to worry about the backlash. Well, oh, we don't have to worry about that now, right? The way that he's there is funny. Is it Sid over on this other side? I need help inserting a virus into the simulation, among other things. Do this, and I will reward you. Do not do this, and you will get nothing. Understand? Yeah, I got it. All right, Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Um, maybe... Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I forgot that's what he did. Okay, that should give me a better gateway into keeping an eye on things inside fake steel port. Here's that upgrade I promised you. Thanks. Sweet. Every store you hack feeds me security data. 
I can use that data to insert a virus, which will open up the doorway back to the ship. So go hack while I work on the virus. Got it. Before we do that, a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. I was talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing. Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this case. <laughs> <sighs> and the best part about this... Whoops. Are you breaking my power armor? No. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Best part? No guns. <laughs> 